computer at Wallace Micromart, the experts, and you're adding one more piece of security. Apple and Wallace in the world of computers. If you're a basketball fan at all in Illinois, for any length of time, you recognize this young fellow standing next to me, Dick Van Syok, the coach of the Manuel Rams out of Peoria. Dick, you were top-ranked much of the season. You lost a heartbreaker to uh, rock out in the Super, but congratulations for a great year. Uh, thank you, Art. Uh, this is what we all strive for, and you know you have to be good, and you have to be lucky, and uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of great teams that just didn't get here. Well, that's right. I suppose we could have another tournament every year with the, the near misses and have an equally great show. That, that's for sure. And these teams that lost a heartbreaker this afternoon, uh, I talked to a couple of those coaches, and they're feeling bad. Whenever you get beat, it takes a day or two or a week to get over. But uh, you, uh, we all bounce back. Well, let's relax a little bit. You can enjoy the tournament. You played Aurora West. You defeated Aurora West in the final to Pontiac. They were awesome, and the game just concluded. They were awesome in Pontiac, too. Uh, when I saw them the, for the first time uh, in Pontiac, I uh, I just shuddered. I, of course, we, uh, we had played them uh, last year, and I, I knew the personnel, knew they were coming back, and uh, it was just a great a great win for us. How did you defense battle? Very carefully? Very, very carefully. Uh, he's just uh, a tremendous player. Someone said he averages three dunks a game, and he must have had at least three or four today. Spectacular. What about the games earlier today in the other bracket? Uh, Westchester St. Joseph surprised you a little bit. It certainly did. Uh, I uh, I didn't know too much about either one of those teams, and uh, I, I was uh, surprised that it was that close at the end. The one that I was uh, sitting on the, my edge of the seat was that first one. Uh, of course, Rich and I are great friends, go back for right. a number of years, and uh, I thought they had it, then they lost it, and it was a heartbreaker. I was talking to him a while ago, and uh, I know he, he's feeling mighty tough about that one. Well, as well he should, but that's state tournament's story every year. What about this one coming up, Rock Island and Simeon? This should be a great ball game. Rock Island is very, uh, very sound fundamentally. They're not real big. They're not awesome, but they they play sound defense. They know what they're doing on offense. And uh, I understand Simeon is, is the same way, so this ought to be a great game. Could be maybe the most physical game of a very physical quarterfinal round. Rock Island is very physical. Uh, I can attest to that. And I'm sure the team coming out of the city of Chicago winning that uh, championship is going to be very physical also. Very, very tough leagues. Dick, again, congratulations for another great year and the many things you've done for basketball in this state. Always good to see you. Thank you, Art. It's been my pleasure. Dick Van Syok, the veteran head coach at Peoria Manual. Now back to the bench and Frank Bassoni. Thank you very much, Art. And we're getting set for the final quarterfinal game of the day as the Rock Island Rocks, 27-3 and on the campaign. Having lost to Quincy in four overtimes very early, lost to Galesburg and to Pekin against the Chicago Simeon Wolverines. Their only loss was 50 to 49 to Farragut in a game that never ended. There was nine seconds to go and there was difficulties uh, with uh, a, a near riot and the game was called off at that time and Simeon comes in 27 and one. Coach Ron Nikovich, there's little to choose between these two teams, obviously a war ready to go. Yeah, and both of them are battle tested and war hardened, so to speak. Uh, Duncan, of course, alluded to the bloodbath, so to speak, situation coming out of the Quad City area, and certainly the same thing is true in the city of Chicago. The Public League is a great conference with many great players. I, I, I've seen many of the teams in the Public League play this year. Uh, I have not seen Simeon play personally, but I've seen teams play that they have beaten and handled well, and if they were able to handle those, some of those teams that I saw play, uh, this must be a whale of a basketball team. All right, we're set to meet the players and coaches in our fourth quarter final. Now let's go to the announcer at the Assembly Hall, Tom Trent. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our fourth quarterfinal round game of the day. Let's meet the players and coaches involved in the contest. First, for the Wolverines of Simeon High School from Chicago with a record of 27 wins, only one defeat. The head coach of the Wolverines in his fourth year with a career mark of 96 wins, only 15 losses, Bob Hambrick. Number 10, Thomas Price. Number 12, Edgar Chapman. Number 20, Terry Sampson. 
number 30, Ronnie Doss. Number 40, Daniel Patton. And now let's meet the starting lineup for the Simeon Wolverines. At a forward, a senior, six feet five, number 24, Kenny Allen. Allen averages 13 points a game. At forward, a senior, 6'7", number 52, Rodney Hull. Powerhouse on the boards at 18 a game. At center for the Wolverines, a junior, 6 feet 7, number 25, Ben Wilson. More size than 20 a contest for Ben Wilson. At a guard for Simeon, a senior, 6'4", number 22, Tim Bankston. Here's the glue of the team, averages 16. And a guard for Simeon, a senior, 6'4", number 14, Bobby Tribble. Another fine all-around athlete, the Blue Machine Wolverines of Chicago Simeon, 27-1, the Chicago Public League champion. And now let's meet the Rocks of Rock Island High School with a record of 27 and 3. The head coach of the Rocks in his fourth year with a career mark of 95 wins, only 19 losses, Duncan Reed. Number 12, Dave Larson. Number 14, Chuck Ledbetter. Number 20, Jeff Tyler. Number 22, Brent Carius. Number 24, Marlon Lewis. Number 35, Mark Borcherding. Number 40, David Carr. And now the starting lineup for the Rock Island Rocks. And a forward, a senior, 6'5", number 50, Ron Hotchkiss. Hodgkiss, an A student, averaging 14 a contest. At forward, a junior, 6'3", number 30, Kyle Collins. Collins averages seven, shoots nearly 50% from the field. At center for the Rocks, a senior, 6'5", number 42, Evan Carlson. Another A student with big bulk around the board. At a guard for Rock Island, a senior, six feet four, number 25, Eric Lundgren. Lundgren averaging nearly 13 points a game. And at guard, a senior, 6'1", number 32, Devon Binion. Binion with an eye-popping 64% field goal percentage on the season. The Western Big Six Conference represented by the Rock Island Rocks. The officials for this game, Kirby Hamm and Edward Smith of Peoria, Illinois, and we'll be back with a tip-off. One of your network sponsors, DeKalb, Pfizer Genetics. comes to being an optimist, nobody beats a farmer. I guess that comes from knowing that no matter how tough the winter, there's always the promise of new life come spring. And I guess that's how I feel about my new seed company, DeKalb Pfizer Genetics. A great product line now. And the promise of some really exciting things to come from some of the best seed research in the world. And you know who's back in that promise? I am. Farmington needs a Chevrolet dealer. Now one of Illinois' largest automobile dealers has come to Farmington with Buick and Chevrolet. Introducing Hembro Motors. We're glad to be in Farmington. Right now, Hembro Motors is offering free grand opening prices on our entire inventory. Hembro Motors is one of Illinois' oldest and largest dealers, offering you dependable sales and service. Hembro Motors will service all GM automobiles. Visit us soon. We're glad to be in Farmington, and we're not kidding. Island of the Western Big Six with an enrollment of 2,261. Chicago Simeon of Cook County, the public league enrollment, 1,850. The Rocks in the gold.
trimmed in crimson. The Wolverines, they call them the blue machine in royal blue, trimmed in gold. And we're set for basketball. The taller team, Chicago Simeon. The ball's in the air, and we've started. Bankston comes in the backcourt, and he'll be the quarterback. Benjamin Wilson sets up on the right side. Kenneth Allen on the left, and the post is Rodney Hull. Big and strong team. First shot, right down by Ben Wilson. There's pressure in the backcourt already. It's like a zone. And Eric Lundgren gets it across the timeline. He's hemmed in and clears to Hotchkiss. Hotchkiss is 50, active on the court. Binion, 32, out front. The zone defense by the Wolverines. Got a two-guard front look. It's probably a 2-3, two, 2-1-2 two, two, two type zone. Little stutter step and shot by Lundgren is not good. Forcing the board, Ben Wilson. Wilson looks even taller than the listed 6-7. There's a the whistle. Ball controlled by the Rocks of Rock Island. These coaches have almost identical records. Duncan Reed, 95 and 19. Bob Hamrick, 96 and 15, both in four years. Unbelievable records. Turn around one-hander, Hull is down. And quickly, Simeon has four. Now Kyle Collins in the backcourt against this trap. Lundgren on the right. Duncan Reed said he wanted good patience and shot selection out of his rock. Hotchkiss, baseline left. He's getting it. And you can hear from the crowd that there's a big contingent from Rock Island County in this arena. Bankston, 22 at the point. Good tight defense and a foul against Rock Island. Going to go against Evan Carlson, 42. You wonder if this game is ever going to go up-tempo, Ron. It might pick up. It's too early to tell, however. I think uh, at this stage we've got a little of the, you know, preliminary fitting out, so to speak, going on. Neither team has been a real heavy scoring ball club in tournament play. Ben Wilson's on the right wing, 25. Bankston steps into the lane, swirls around, and is fouled. Foul is on Devon Binion. Quick fouls on Rock Island. Frank, in response to your question about tempo, the defensive averages are glittering. 50.7 is Rock Island's defensive norm. 42.6 is Simeon's. Simeon has inside power. They score with Bankston, too. Wilson steps in, puts it up and in. Good look at junior basketball player. Ben, ben Wilson, very active, has four quick points. And Kyle Collins is trapped in the back. Binion wheels a one-handed pass to Hotchkiss in the lane for a one-hander. Every rebound right now to Simeon on the dance. There's Binion. The other way. Collins, two. Great anticipation by Binion. He saw that pass coming at the time it was released, picked it off, and passed off brilliantly. It's a great play. Bankston slides up on the right, going against the rocks in the goal, and they're sinking. Trying to keep the ball out of the inside. Bounce pass across the lane to Hull for a layup. Dangerous pass, and it got through. 8-4, to four, Simeon, 5-10, first quarter. Frank Bissoni, Art Kimball, and Coach Ron Nikovich from the Assembly Hall. Here's a steal by Simeon. Tribble in the back. Tribble on the bounce pass to Bankston, and a whistle. Walking. Turns the ball over to the Rocks. There's Bob Hambrick in the leather jacket. He's assisted by George Stanton and Bill Alderson. Duncan Reed is assisted by Mike Foley, Larry Schulte, Mike Brown, Al Dennison, and Jim Wessel. Collins, a 6'3 junior with the basketball in the backcourt now, gets it clear to Evan Carlson. Stop and pop by Lundgren. Nice rebound, Carlson steps in left hand. This time, Ben Wilson. Look at the running Wolverines. Bankston, charge. Lost control, and I think Collins got banged pretty good. Yeah, we'll see coming up on the replay that uh, it is clearly a charging foul there. Good position. 
tried to dish it off to his left, but there was good defensive positioning by Rock Island. Okay, Collins shook that off. Back to live action. We're in the first period of play in the last quarterfinal game of the day. The C will be in the semifinals. Evanston, St. Joe, and Aurora West have already been advanced to tomorrow's semifinals. Binion triggers the ball to Collins for a pop from the outside that's too long. Nice rebound inside Carlson. Back to Lundgren. Yes! Good second effort by Lundgren. Well, both these teams are physical. They both go after the ball, and there will be intensity throughout here. And they're both very solid fundamentally. You see that early on. They're playing very well together. Benjamin Wilson goes all the way in, and he got fouled. And Lundgren doesn't believe it. Called for a block. Well, we'll check it out in the replay now to see if it was... Uh, well, move it in. He never was settled in his defensive position. And that, of course, is the most difficult call an official can make. I, I think most any official will, will claim that the block charge call is the most difficult call he has to make. Foul shot by Tim Bankston is down. The 73% free throw shooter. And another. Simeon 10, Rock Island 6. Simeon stays with almost full court pressure. Triple giving trouble in the back. The Rocks handle it nicely. They stay under control. Collins comes out. They've got their offense pushed out on the floor quite a ways with Evan Carlson at the foul line. Hotchkiss posted low left. They go left side, Lundgren, he's there. He missed it, but the tip is up and in by 42, Carlson. They are a physical basketball team. They like to go in and bang. There isn't any question about that. But you know, early too, we can see that it's Ben Wilson, a touted player. He isn't disappointing us either, as have none of the touted players coming into the tournament so far. There's Wilson going to the baseline, cut off nicely by Carlson, a whistle away, three second violation. And that turns the ball over to Rock Island, who could tie with a goal. Well, I think we know what that call was, though. <laughs> Ed Schmidt came out of the shoot, yeah, didn't he? He sure did. Rodney Hall looks a little puzzled out there on offense for Simeon. And I'm not sure where they want him to go. He might keep an eye on number 52 there, uh, Ron. Okay. Carlson comes up with the left hand, 205 pounds, and dribbling the ball up against pressure. Binion, baseline left, shot. Yes. Rock Island solid. You know what they're doing. There's Duncan Reed, and believe me, he can flat coach. He's done it for many years in a lot of different places. Bankston clears on the left. It's Tribble. Right home. Bobby Tribble rang the bell from the left side of the key, and Simeon grabs the lead at 12-10. First deuce by Tribble. This shaping up to be one fine game. Binion, good hands. Gives over on the right for a pop by Hotchkiss. Oh, those shots from the outside are right on the money, and eventually the zone defense is going to have to be doing some things to defense that kind of thing. Two excellent high school basketball teams. No, no question about it. about it. 51 shooting percentage for the season as a team by Rock Island. They're trying to fall back now inside, and the ball comes outside. Inside the lane, it goes to Bankston. His left-hander goes off. Ben Wilson steps in and doesn't get it. Wilson... Went to the goal, and Carlson fouled him. Wilson's another of those quick well, jumpers. You know, Wilson, we'll see Wilson on this play. Frank alluded earlier that he looks taller than 6'7". I don't know about that, but he should sure plays taller than 6'7", as we'll see right here. The length of the two benches could be a factor here, because this game does figure to be physical. Wilson's free throw is down. He has seven points already here in the first period. And Simeon has a one-point advantage, just under two minutes to go in the first quarter. A good rotation, nice-looking shooter. Good-looking good shooter. shooter. Now a whistle and a timeout. 1.56 to play. Simeon leads in the first quarter by a pair. One of your network sponsors is John Deere. Have you ever noticed that sometimes the best you can do is settle for second best?
Now you won't have to with the new R-Series riding mower from John Deere. You see, they don't cost more than ordinary riders, but they're built with extraordinary features and first-class John Deere quality. So now, for the price of someone else's mower, you can have one of ours. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? That cheese. Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? They should have gotten a Leonardo's pizza. Leonardo's pizza is loaded with rich, buttery cheese. Dine in, carry out, or get delivery on pizza, spaghetti, gondolas. Day or night, there's always something good cooking at Leonardo's. Rock Island coached by Duncan Reed, who brought Lincoln, the Railers, to the state finals in 1972. They came in undefeated. That team featured Norman Cook, if you recall. And, of course, his son, Steve, who was such they were the outstanding guard at Purdue last season, and uh, his son, Mike, at uh, Uni uh, University of Colorado, I believe. Great sports family. Triple shot out of the corner. No, but Hall is there. Rodney Hall, look what I found and laid it in. Four-point lead for Simeon. Six points for Hall. I don't think he's puzzled in the offense anymore, Frank. Simeon's a good-looking team. There's Hotchkiss shot from the wing. Look at the rebound by Hall. He threw it out to the wing to Triple. Streaks up the court, and Binion got his hand on it. Chicago Simeon defeated Robeson three times this year. And Robeson was only 26 and 4. Their other loss was to St. Mel. Rodney Hall comes out to help. Zone defense by the Rocks. Or a collapsing man. Let's see. Rival. Walking violation on the Wolverine. And our guest at halftime, Frank, will be uh, Robert Collins, the coach at Chicago Robeson. He Good should have coach. some interesting thoughts on this one, shouldn't he? Very interesting. He had a couple of really fine basketball players. Greg Jones, a 6'5 center, and Jerome Childs, a quick guard. Isn't Greg Jones uh, going to Bradley, I believe? They both are. Both are. Okay. Lundgren gives the Hodgkiss along the baseline right. Rock Island trying to cut into the lead. Nearing down a minute. Lundgren's alone to Binion. That's a deuce. Fine shooting basketball team. Great shot selection. Four points for Binion. You see the score. We're under a minute, first quarter. Benjamin Wilson comes in the backcourt to help out. He plays under great control. Tribble splits the middle. Inside Hall, charging. Well, you can see the, diff the difference here. The positioning. And I think the coaching. The acting. <laughs> and the foul. <laughs> All enter into one call, right? Right. Some of these guys on a charge could create thoroughfares in the <laughs> building. Backcourt, this is Binion. Goes all the way and down the lane. Has it blocked by Benjamin Wilson. Wilson kicks it out. Here comes Bankston. Triple layup. I'd be willing to predict right now that Ben, of course, doesn't take a genius to make a statement like that, but Ben Wilson is going to be one of the great players in this state before his career is finished. No doubt. 16 seconds, 50. Will Rock Island take one? Collins in the corner. Rock Island, four down. Carlson Page, partially blocked by Hall. Who's got it? Binion, six seconds. In the lane is fouled by Tim Bankston. Early on, I just simply got to be impressed with the one thing about the Rocks, poise. Both of these teams seem to play under great control. Bankston with a couple of personals. There's four seconds on the clock, and the Rocks need a shot. Here's a crisscross pass. It. It's Lundgren there, 15-footer. Doesn't go. That's the end of quarter one in the fourth quarterfinal game of the day. Chicago Simeon leads Rock Island 18 to 14. One of your network sponsors, DeKalb Pfizer Genetics. Farming is a tough way to make a living. Most farmers are in a struggle just to survive. I know I sure am. So when I come asking you to plant DeKalb Pfizer Genetic Seed, you better believe it'll be the same seed that's done the job on my own farm. It's my job to know what kind of seed you need. Not because I'm a seed dealer, because I'm a farmer like you. Who's in the struggle with you? I am. Really, really, truly, truly. We want your 
business at Crown. The fun goes round and round, and it winds up here on Wheel of Fortune. Be good to me, Wheel. Play along with contestants who combine luck and skill to compete for fabulous prizes. Join me, Pat Sajak, for Wheel of Fortune, and you'll be a winner, too. Wheel of Fortune, weeknights at 6.30 on 19. After quarter one, and I think it was a very well-played quarter, of course, you mentioned the poise of Rock Island and seeing the tremendous ability of Chicago Simeon. I'm not sure Clark Kent could start for them. <laughs> I don't know if he'd beat out Ben Wilson. 77% <laughs> shooting from the field for Simeon, 7 of 9, 7 of 17 for Rock Island, 41%. Simeon perfect at the foul line, leads in rebounds 8 to 3, and committed five turnovers to Rock Island's two. You would think the score might be a little further apart than the four-point advantage for the Wolverines. Let's see if they start with the ball again. They'll jump it once more. In case you just joined us, Rock Island in the gold. Simeon in the royal blue. I think Clark Kent had a pretty good jump shot, didn't he, Ron? <laughs> <laughs> Trouble with him is he flew too much. <laughs> There's a lane violation. On Rock Island, and Simeon starts the second quarter with the ball. They seem so calm. Bankston on the right to Ben Wilson. Lob inside Hull. Up and down and in and count it. He just barged into the lane and buried it. Well, Hull is sick. Uh, Hull, we'll see here, is getting his feel for the court here. He's getting to find his way around a little bit. And a twisting, curling move like that. Seems like he's in his home gym. He's got eight points, and Kyle Collins was called for the foul. Looking for a three-point play. Right there. 21-14, Simeon. Now will the Rocks come back? Simeon's coming out with the 1-3-1 half-court trap, but they're leaving a lot of openings in the corner. And the Rocks have fine poise, good vision. Patience, the kinds of things it takes to attack this kind of stuff. One thing that Rock Island wants to do is keep Simeon off the boards on the offensive end for Simeon. Haven't been able to do it too well. Lundgren outside left. Look at the battle. Simeon wins with Wilson. Wheels it up ahead to Banks and down the other end, triple wild pass. Right idea, didn't get it done. Simeon has uh, impressed early on as Benton did earlier early this afternoon in the uh, rebound department. They position well, they jump well, they jump well, they really go for that ball. Lundgren just sat down for the Rocks, and Marlon Lewis, 24, a 6'1 senior, comes into the game. Now Binion's got two fouls. And you're looking at Bankston. Left-hander is in. 22 to 14, Simeon. The first appearance. You know, it was a converted candy factory as their school at, at Chicago Simeon. Yeah, they've done some conversions over there. Uh, Westinghouse was a uh, factory of some kind or another, and now it's turned into a different kind of factory. <laughs> and uh, same thing is true here. They've done some excellent conversions. We've got to credit the architecture department up there at the Board of Education. <laughs> David Carr is into the game now for Rock Island. And there's the mystery throw, and it's an eight-point lead for Chicago Simeon. David Carr is 40 into the game for the Rocks, and 24, Marlon Lewis. Binion with two fouls with the ball. Kyle Collins whips it into Hotchkiss, steps in, and scores, but he walked first. He traveled on that, and of course, they're beginning to find the openings that this half-court 1-3-1 one, one trapping type thing is, is presenting, but at the same time, it's presenting a lot of intimidation, too. What was happened there is why the traveling violation happened. Seven minute mark, first half. Ben Wilson, right corner. Triple, wheels the ball around. Look at Hall, steps in down the lane. He missed it. Look at Wilson. Hall keeps it alive. Here it comes. And this time the Rocks go to the board. Fierce rebounding team in Chicago Simeon. Pinion clears to Lewis. Rock Island needs a hoop this time. They trap the ball, and Marlon Lewis is on the right. Skip pass, Kyle Collins. Go on, Mike, stay there, baby. Collins pinned in. Way, way outside, Lewis. That's got
got to be out of his range. Yeah, it's the first poor shot the Rocks have taken in the ball game, and I think the uh, Duncan nature of the Reed is just looking at him, staring right through him at the moment. I don't think he has to say much about that. I think he probably knew it as well. Now the pressure put on by the Rocks. No trouble by the Wolverines. They're so tall and strong. Tribble and Bankson are both 6'4 guards. Here's Wilson. And oh. talented. What an acrobatic, nice move to the basket. Ten-point lead now for Simeon and a ten-point game. Binion comes up. The Rocks looking for a hoop. They've been on 14 quite a while. Hotchkiss fakes and shoots it in. Credit Hotchkiss on that one. He just he just took it to him. He just flat took it to him. Six points for Hotchkiss. Well, over There's and over and back. Paul over and back for Chicago Simeon. And Lundgren checks back in for Rock Island. And now Duncan Reed wants to call timeout with 5.42 to play in the first half. And Simeon leading the Rocks by eight. One of your network sponsors is John Deere. When it comes to lawnmowers, there are some people who will pass up a John Deere for a bargain brand. Sure, they'll save a little money, but they won't have John Deere features like deep die-cast aluminum decks and single lever height adjustment. But until the day their mower needs service, they won't know they're missing the most important feature of all, a John Deere dealer. Nothing runs like a deer. Don't miss Uptring Chevy Old Special Feelin' Dealin' Days. Right now, Gary Uptring has an incredible selection of brand new Oldsmobiles with sensational Dealin' Days discounts. You'll save up to $1,500 on a front-wheel drive Oldsmobile Sierra and up to $800 on this fuel-injected front-wheel drive for Renza ES. Gary Uptring has even discounted the classically elegant Cutlass Supreme Special Edition up to $1,500. Don't miss the special sale prices during the special Feelin' Dealin' Days at Uptring Chevy Olds in Washington. We're here to answer a question, and that is, who will play Aurora West in tomorrow's second semifinal? The first is set, Evanston against Westchester St. Joe. Well, if you're a basketball enthusiast, you can see what's shaping up tomorrow, the final four. It's just Should I wager the Ferrari good. on either one of these, Frank? <laughs> he really set me up last week, right? <laughs> a Ferrari? Yeah. Gosh, there goes my Mercedes. I really don't possess a Ferrari. But <laughs> back to the ball game. All right, Collins on the left. Rock Island starts with the ball. They're eight points behind. Hotchkiss barges in and banks it in. He's got it again. That's the second time. First time with his uh, face in the basket. Second time with his back to the basket. Again, again we have the case of the timeout. The quick rock follow. Eight points, Hotchkiss. Paul came way out on the court to help. Simeon seems never to get rattled. They back out with the ball. Look over. Now a whistle. Double dribble. So Simeon turns it over. Looking over to the bench and lost control. 5.06 to play, first half, and Rock Island could cut it to four. One mark of good officiating is, is assertiveness in terms of the kind of call that's, that's made, and these officials certainly assert themselves in that respect. They do an excellent job. Simeon with seven turnovers. Rock Island lost it only three times that way. In all truth, there are four Simeon players under 6'4 in height. None have played as yet in the ballgame, however. <laughs> Simeon in the blue on the defense, and Lundgren will trigger. He calls the play. Here's a steal, and a Binion takes it back. Lundgren steps in, has the ball kicked out of his hands by Ken Allen, and will be out of bounds for the Rocks. Well, these guys are the B-52s. <laughs> the Jets are in reserve. I don't think these guys can land on an aircraft carrier. <laughs> Zone defense by the Wolverines. And the Rocks must find the cracks in it at 4.30 to play, first half. Binion's outside left. Little tricky dribble to Collins. There's the high post, Hotchkiss. Lundgren's free. Partially blocked by Wilson, and Lundgren's got it back. Got by with one there. Layup missed inside. Got by with another Star. one. There's another steal. Hotchkiss in the lane Travel. is traveling. Frustrated with the leaping and jumping ability there of the Wolves, and Carlson comes back. But I David think eventually Carlson. they'll adjust to that. 
and they'll go back to the shot selection and patience that they demonstrated earlier in the ballgame. They're rushing things just a little bit, and I think the six-point lead might have them just a little bit flustered. But Duncan will settle them down. You can count on Duncan. Jim Bankston looks across the defense of the Rocks. Wilson comes to the right corner with the ball there. Wilson, a flat-footed one-hander that doesn't go. It's still 24-18 Simeon. 3.50 to play in this opening half. Now for the Rocks. 20. Jeff Tyler is on. 5'11 senior replaces Kyle Collins. Jeff Tyler. And Rock Island's using its bench. Simeon is not. Generously, I might add. Very much so. All right. Now Rock Island again looks to cut it to four. Hotchkiss slides left on the dribble. Lundgren's in the corner. He's there and shooting. Boom! That's the kind of shot selection I'm sure Coach Reed is looking for, and that's the kind of shot that'll put them back in a ball game. Four for Lundgren, the A student. National Honor Society had 12 in the super sectional win over Peoria Manuel. Bankston, foul line. Now they exchange. Bankston handles it nicely. Wilson steps in. Got it. Ben Wilson. Inside and outside. He's got a dozen. 26-20. Simeon. Binion lost control almost and then handled it. There's a ball tipped by Simeon. Taken back by Carlson. Hotchkiss challenges the defense and scores. Hotchkiss is uh, what? About a 6-3 or 6-4 uh, Bruce Baker type. 205 and he can go after you. Blue collar player. There's a whistle and a foul on Tyler of the Rocks. 243 in the first half. Simeon by four, shooting one and one. Hodgkiss is listed at 6'5, 198. So he uh, is the broad shoulder type that can work very, very well inside. All right. We're in the bonus now on the first foul on Tyler. You get a look at Benjamin Wilson, 6'7, 180, and a junior. On the season average, 20 points and six boards a game. Somebody must not have been counting all the rebounds. <laughs> Free throw is down. You talk about a player that will be widely recruited. He is already, I'm sure. Nice rotation got him in. 28, 22. 240 in the game. Six out of six foul shooting by Wolverines, all by the man, Wilson. This foul is on Bobby Tribble of Simeon. And the fourth team foul on Simeon. The next one will put the Rock Island Rocks in the one and bonus, but there's only 237 to play in the half. And again, Rock Island tries to cut it to four. They're going to have to get some shots outside in because Simeon is going to be tough on the boards all night long. Hotchkiss starts and stops. Under control. Very well disciplined teams, both of them. Lundgren's way outside. Look at this one. Right back to him. Steps in and slides it up. Blocked by Wilson. Great block. Lundgren shot with a lot of authority from way outside. Oh, yeah, that shot was really well, uh, right on the money. Heavy in the rear of the rim. It was right there. Collins in. Tyler out. Well, Duncan Reed's rocks. Uh, nice deck, kid. Way out to Binion. Clock winding toward two spin. Binion threw a pass, almost went right in the basket from 40 feet. Triple for the Wolverines. Look how patient they are. Zone defense by the Rocks, 1-3-1. One, one. Allen posts up inside. It'll be hard to get them all into him. They're collapsing around the inside. 1-45, opening half. Simeon, content now. They're going to try to bring it out of it. This is Bankston outside with Tribble. Looks over at Bob Hambrick. League champion in control of the ball and a six-point lead. Allen high post. They may take this all the way down. He's got all the looks of that kind of uh, strategy behind this ball movement. Triple holding. Rock Island comes out now. 
much farther on the court. Bankston. His team, very poised. Collins and Lundgren guarding outside. One minute, first half. Frank Bassoni, Art Pimble, and Ron Nikovich of LaGrange. Hope you're enjoying IHSA AA Championship Basketball. Now the clock moves to 45 seconds. Wolverine still with it. Bankston and Tribble controlling. Rock Island trying not to make a mistake. Now Simeon probably wants one shot. We're down to 33 seconds. An interesting first half. This is Wilson. 25 seconds. The defense hardly changes. Lundgren chasing the ball. Under 20 seconds. Simeon will be very content to go into the locker room with a six-point halftime lead. If they get eight, it's just crazy. Ten seconds. Nine. They'll probably shoot here. It goes over to Wilson for an easy one with six seconds. Rock Island can get a shot. They're eight down. Three, two. Collins, half a mile. That's it. The end of the first half of play. With talented Chicago Simeon with 30. Rock Island, 22. We'll be back. In just a moment, one of your network sponsors, Country Companies Insurance. If you have a country company's whole life insurance policy, you're getting increased dividends each year. But now, even higher dividends are possible through our Update 84 program. You can add more value to your life insurance with higher dividends year after year, yet it costs no more. Talk to your country company's agent about it today. You've got the country behind you. One minute all's well with the world, and the next, you have a job for Glass Specialty. You'll find us in the yellow pages. Give us a call, and the Glass Specialty crew is on its way with fast, on-the-spot glass replacement at no extra cost. We're equipped to handle most any job, anywhere within 24 hours, using the same quality auto glass as the manufacturer. Both products and workmanship are guaranteed for a year. Get a perfect guaranteed fit. Call Glass Specialty in Peoria, Galesburg, Bloomington, and throughout Illinois. Rock Island finds itself eight points behind at the half, but they got a great first half from Ron Hotchkiss with ten points. The 6'5 senior led the way. Collins had two, Carlson with two, Lundgren a 12 and a half point score with four, Binion 11 point score with four. The Rock Island Rocks first five. The individual scoring for Simeon is all one way. It's Benjamin Wilson leading the way with 16. He averages 20 and he's been a brilliant performer here in the first half. Rodney Hull, his 6'7 counterpart on the front line with nine. Allen did not score. Bankston had one and he is a better scorer than that and Bobby Tribble with four. Don't forget, we'll be back here tomorrow as the semifinal action gets underway at 11 a.m. It'll be Evanston and Westchester St. Joe in that front game, and then coming up West Aurora against the winner here. Then at 6 o'clock tomorrow night, we'll have the consolation game and then the championship. Who will it be? Who will be the 1984 double-A champion? A year ago, you remember, we had that wonderful shootout between Springfield Lanphier and Peoria Central with Lanphier, the defending state champion. But they couldn't make it this time, and now we're getting ready to decide tomorrow who will be the 84 champion now let's go to the court and Art Kimball thank you very much Frank and we have Robert Collins with us as promised the coach at Chicago Robeson of course uh, Ron Nikovich and uh, coach Collins you had a whale of a year and uh, lost a heartbreaker to send me in for the public league title but you have to be proud of the way uh, the Wolves are playing out there in the first half oh yeah they definitely looks like they're gonna be the class of the tournament they're big they're strong they're talented they're gonna be tough to beat well, there's certainly been no indication uh, that that is not going to happen. And one of the fellows just made a comment to me as we walked out here to the end of the floor. He said, when was the last time you saw a public league team that extremely disciplined? Now, I think there's a lot of discipline in the public league. But, well, they can really put it to a, to a sprawl if they need to, can't they? Right. Well, I think there's a changeover. I think that's a, that myth is going out now. There's quite a few new coaches in the city. There's a, a different brand of ball because they want to all come down here and win, and they know the style of ball it's going to take. You're going to have to be versatile teams to come down here and win. And the coaches Ron, know it now. 
Yeah, that kind of change has been noticeable for recent years. We've been seeing some of the city teams coming to the Proviso West tournament, exhibiting that kind of discipline that you alluded to. But I think what the fans would really like to hear, Coach, would be uh, your statement on behalf of your player, uh, Greg Jones. What kind of player is Greg? Greg's a strong player. Um medium range shooter strong under the boards great all around just kid in general he's strong and he's going to be a great player at bradley that's where he's going and headed to school he had uh, water on the knee just before the championship game and he was not 100 percent at all i couldn't touch his kneecap the day before the game he had all that fluid on his knee so it was just a shame that happened but he had a great year and a great career you know, Robert, you made an interesting comment, and I think certainly the, uh, the change of style of play has been evident in the public league, but I think the change of style on defense overall, statewide, you know, it used to be whoever won the state title the year before, everybody played that defense, and right. many would play the offense the next year. We're seeing a jillion combinations, zone, man-to-man, -man, public league, I think, has been kind of a forerunner in that. You fellas uh, used a lot of techniques. Right, well... Due to the all-around clinics across the country and the new coaches coming along, everybody's involved. And if you just get out there and go to these clinics, you find things. And you just, with the talent that's out and about now, you just can't miss if you got that talent. Playing any style of ball or that defense. Robeson's really had a run of athletes. I know the football program has been very strong as well. Yes, we have. Uh, that's an athletic school. It, and Simeon is about 10 blocks from us. And that just goes to show you how much talent is in that area. No rivalry there, is there? Oh, uh, it's just a little bit. You know, we like each other quite a bit. So, you know, we just play hard at each other and just go hard at each other all the time. Ron, we have time for about a 15-second question and answer. Okay. Pick a winner, Coach. I've got to go with Simeon. I think Evanston has a cloud over their head, but I think uh, Simeon is strong enough to beat anybody down here with the size and the discipline that they have this year. Robert, thank you so much for being with us. Congratulations for a great year. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Robert Collins, the coach at uh, Chicago Robeson, who narrowly lost to Simeon in the Super Sectional Republic League Championship game. And one of your network sponsors is DeKalb Pfizer Genetics. I sure get a kick out of watching folks slow down to eyeball this field of soybeans. Like most DeKalb Pfizer genetics dealers, I like to show off my best beans. You know, where the neighbors can get a good look at them. You get really good beans by starting with DeKalb Pfizer seed. Then you know you got high quality seed that yields as good as it looks. Try them. And uh, put them out by the road, just like I am. Chevy Olds, we are the competition. We're shaping up as the fastest growing dealership in central Illinois. At Graves, we stretch your dollars with low prices on a great selection of Chevrolets and Oldsmobiles. And when it comes to super strong Chevy trucks, Graves prices rival no other. In our service, we go the extra mile. After all, at Graves Chevy Olds, we are the competition everyone's talking about beating. We are the competition, Graves Chevy Olds. So you think you're too young to start thinking about a retirement program, huh? Well, are you too young to start saving on taxes? An IRA tax saver account from one of the better banks is not only tax deductible, but in many instances will put you in a lower tax bracket. And that means a bigger refund check at tax time. Why, at the better bank closest to you, we'll even lend you the money to get your account started at very nice terms. Check out an IRA tax saver account at the better bank closest to you. We don't care how young you are. You'll see Rock Island shot 10 times more than Simeon did in the first half, but they each made 11 goals. Rock Island's percentage is 40, Simeon a burning 64. Free throws, eight out of nine for Simeon, very, very good, and Rock Island didn't get a try. In the rebound department, it's 13 to 10 in favor of the Wolverines, and both teams turned the ball over seven times. Chicago Simeon, obviously shooting percentage, Ron Nikovich is showing they're punching the ball inside and going to the board. Yeah, two things about the statistics that are rather glaring on that is the size factor with respect to the 64 percent shooting the second factor is well rock island hasn't shot any free throws two things emerge two uh one is the uh, zone defense on simeon's part and secondly the uh, quickness of simeon to go to the ball i think it's very obvious these are two well-schooled basketball teams both bob hambrick and duncan reed over the last four years have averaged about 24 victories per season and right now Bob Hambrick's got to be telling his guys the same thing and more of it. What's Duncan Reed saying? Well, of course, Duncan's very concerned about the eight points that look rather glaring at this stage of the game. But I think what's going to have to happen is, uh, uh, again, as I alluded to earlier, uh, patience, uh, shot selection, 
uh, on Rock Island's part. And uh, I think uh, with that, uh, they may probably, if they have that kind of thing, get back into it with about, well, three-minute mark of the ballgame. Simeon uh, defeated Robeson in the Chicago Public League playoffs, and that score was 44 to 42. So you can see that Simeon's going to be very content to get a high percentage shot and take their time with the ball. Yeah, they really do. They're a patient basketball team. They have very good discipline. Uh, great size, of course. Mobility is outstanding. Quickness is there. Uh, they know how to play the game, and they are well coached. We certainly have seen a wonderful field of teams, and uh, there are already three who have made the semifinals. There's not a lot to choose among them. Evanston with its uh, great quickness, and Everett Stevens and St. Joe with its brilliant speed across the court. Kenny Battle and West Aurora, and now one of these teams will make it to the semifinals tomorrow when we have the Final Four and, of course, the state championship. We're at halftime, and we're just getting ready now for the uh, start of the second half of play. There's your score, and we'll be back at the Assembly Hall in Champaign-Urbana in just a moment. One of your network sponsors is John Deere. Have you ever noticed that sometimes the best you can do is settle for second best? Now you won't have to with the new R-Series riding mower from John Deere. You see, they don't cost more than ordinary riders, but they're built with extraordinary features and first-class John Deere quality. So now, for the price of someone else's mower, you can have one of ours. Lumberman Energy Systems brings satellite TV down to Earth. Satellite TV is your window to the world with over 150 channels of programming, including movie entertainment, sporting events, children's shows, plus much more. Why pay the high cost of cable when you can own your own satellite system for as low as $30 a month with no down payment? And Lumberman Energy has satellite dishes for even the most secluded rural areas, ranging from 3 to 13 feet. Lumberman Energy Systems, 3100 Farmington Road, for satellite TV that's out of this world. If Chicago Simeon shoots 64% in the second half, that won't be a question mark under versus with West Aurora. But shooting 64% again is not an automatic, and Rock Island will have something to say about that. They're a very capable basketball team, and I'm sure they're not going to think that an eight-point halftime deficit is a loss. No, it's not. They're going to have to get after it slowly. They can't expect to make up the eight points that quickly. They're going to have to be patient and go after it slowly to simply peck away at it. Ball in the air, the blue clad, blue machine, Wolverines of Simeon start with the ball. Rock Island in the goal on the defense. And we've got one half to go in our first quarter final session. Nice bounce pass inside, lost the handle though. Ken Allen, and out of bounds to Rock Island. So the Rocks may get the first shot here in the second half. What an advantage it is, Coach, to have a center that can control the tip four times. And oh yeah, four automatic possessions. Binion's outside between the circles. Double team. It's a zone defense pushed out on the court. Looks like a 2-1-2 by Simeon. He's got a two-guard front. Lundgren's on one side. Collins comes to the other. Baseline. Hotchkiss is there. Rattled out, but Collins battled it. Binion is fouled. Binion went for the ball well that time, and Benjamin Wilson got him. Yeah, typically Wilson goes up straight as a pencil, doesn't get into that kind of a situation, but we'll see that he gets a piece of his hand on this replay. Good rebounding effort by Rock Island here, and there is the hand that crunched slightly. And we'll see the first two free throws of the game for Rock Island. They're 0 for 1. Individual rebounding. Wilson had six rebounds in the first half. Hall had four. Binion's free throw rolls off. Nice rebound for Collins, who tries. He's got it again and scores. Great effort on Collins' part. Turned those two missed free throws into a layup and a six-point Simeon lead. Nice effort. Quick jumping Kyle Collins. Back to man-to-man -to -man defense now for the Rocks. There's a shot up and no good, and Rock Island has the ball. And now, Rock Island could cut the score to four. And, of course, they need to be patient. A lot of time in this game. Just started the second half. Lundgren looks, doesn't. Binion cuts across. They simply need to realize that it can't be made up in 40 seconds or a minute and 20 seconds. It takes six minutes. It takes six minutes. Lundgren. 
but maybe it's going to take a minute and 20 seconds. <laughs> he really nailed that one from the outside. He's got a half a dozen at the 6.30 mark. The first four points are scored by the Rocks. Now Simeon with the ball. This is Timothy Bankston. Low box. Allen. Now back to Bankston. Steps in and puts it up. He missed it. Boxing out on the inside. Rock Island, they get the ball. Hodgkiss, the blue-collar player, doing all that has to be done. Constantly working. Perpetual motion. Back to the offensive end and continued good sh uh, shot selection by the Rocks and patience. And now Rock Island tries to cut it down to two. Binion, top of the key. Hotchkiss comes out high this time, and Lundgren goes to the right side. And Lundgren is not at all bashful, and I wouldn't be either if I could shoot it like that. He wheels a skip pass to Collins for a stop and pop that's no good. Had One. a good shot. Had Big a good shot. Spear rebound there by Rodney Hall, number 52. Increasingly, we're seeing that skip pass being uh, used more and more against the zone defenses. And of course, increasingly, we're seeing zone defenses too. Number 14 is triple. Lobbing to the low box to Allen. He puts the ball up. No rebound, Lundgren. And all of a sudden, Rock Island boxing out better on the board. Lundgren has stripped. Bankston. Double dribble. And Rock Island will have the ball. Watch it. Yeah. Well, that's the problem. Spin moves in traffic. You just simp simply can't get by with that kind of thing. There are too many hands there. You have one pair of hands. There are four pair, four hands, six hands going after one ball. It's tough. Baseline. Hotchkiss. A shot is in. How did he make that shot? It skipped off the side of the backboard is what happened. Well, that looked like an Art Kimball shot to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hodgkiss and I work on that a great deal. 30-28. The game is down to a two-point advantage. It was 30-22 at halftime. Here's a whistle away from the ball and a foul on Hotchkiss of Rock Island. Well, the first six points of the second half, and the Rocks gave their answer that they're not going to go away that easily. Oh, no. The first foul on Hotchkiss. And throw See how they defense this. Well, they got Zone. him. To, yeah, that's good. They got him to pass it outside. They could play volleyball up there, son. Yeah, they sure can. Hall steps in and shoots. He shot a rock up there. And the men in gold have it, and they shoot for a tie. Listen to the Rock Island crowd now. Carlson punches the ball over to Lundgren. Hotchka steps in in traffic. Binion, swirl, swatted away by Hall. Here comes Bankston. Two. Great block. Great block. And that's a four-point turnaround. You go from a sure easy was. shot to Classic. a layup on the other end. Classic four-point turnaround. 32-28, Simeon. Baseline, charging foul on Collins. Position by Hull, and Very Hull makes position. two great plays in a row. Cuts off the, watch the classic move to the uh, baseline, cutting off the baseline. Little acting play involved, probably made a little noise as well. You know, you got to go, <laughs> ugh. That's what really draws those fouls. <laughs> the second foul on Collins, the second on Rock Island. We're 4.05 to play in the third. It's a four-point game, Simeon. Triple. Battle for the board. Whistle, foul, Simeon, Wilson. Well, Simeon sure doesn't foul much. Simeon's only picked up a total of six fouls all night. Here's that shot. And over the top. The battle on the board becomes increasingly important. Under four minutes, third quarter. Hotchkiss is outside. There's Lundgren, rhythm jumper. Cracked it off the board. Collins rebound, steps in, whacked away by Hull. Hull's timing is fantastic on that kind of thing. It just seems like he has radar on that. Here comes the block on Hull. He is not uh, at all uh, uh, drawn by the fake either. Great right, timing on his part. Live action now, Hotchkiss. Still Still to the his top. own defense. Carlson's at the top. Collins. Yes. yes. Great tough shot. 32 to 30, Simeon. But it's that kind of shot that the Rocks have to hit because penetrating that zone defense is like penetrating a rainforest. You need an armored tank division to get through. 
There's Bankston, top of the key. Paul comes out. Wilson goes in, but stolen by Collins. And now, Rock Island has a chance to tie the game. The clock moves to the three-minute mark in the third. Baseline left, Hotchkiss. Carlson in traffic, tipped away. Look at Simeon play the D. Bankston. Traveled. Oh, he traveled. He went all the way down and laid it in, but he clearly walked. Now a whistle. Timeout on the court. 2.53. The Assembly Hall is heating up. We have a two-point game. One of your network sponsors, Country Companies Insurance. The Johnsons always loved their home the way it was. I'll bring some out. But then they had a fire in the kitchen that spread to the family room. No one was hurt, but the fire did destroy a pretty important electric train setup. Tell us, Beth, how did you explain that to the kids? All I can say is Country Company's got us back on track in a hurry. You've yeah. got Country <laughs> behind you. For fair, understanding claim service. You've got Country Company. For the Sports Minded, team is offering a special price on this NEC video cassette recorder for just $5.99. Their best forehead VCR features crystal clear freeze frame and slow motion, plus comes complete with wireless remote control. Buy now through March 31st and receive $100 of free movie rentals, or buy any VCR from team and get a free membership to their video club. Simeon leads by two. Rock Island is coming, storming back in the third. This is the first time in the state finals for Simeon, but if their talent and coaching is any indication, we'll see him again. Certainly, that's for sure. And with a player like Ben uh, Wilson around, why, very likely we will. All right, Rock Island with the basketball. Hotchkiss turns, fakes, and shoots. It rolls off. But that was a chance to tie the game. But now Simeon answers with the rebound. Well, here again, it's that patience factor big these guards are both six foot four Lundgren six four for the Rocks remember when six four players were centers in high school when six four players were Giants here's Bankston adjusting in the air didn't get it to go down and Hotchkiss pulled it away the ever-present Hotchkiss on the defensive board swirling with the ball is Binion patience the young man get things organized 207 in the third punch it into Hotchkiss lost the ball Bankston runs now watch and see if he holds it up. No, sir! No P.J. for him. He missed the layup, and Rock Island has it again. They'll have their third crack to tie it. Psychologically very important for Rock Island here to get a tie back. They need to handle it this time. They've Pass turned the ball. Over. There's a pass kicked out of bounds by Ben Wilson. Right now, I think they need to realize that passing the ball three, five, seven, eight times is, is probably what it's going to take to get that tie. It won't happen quickly. There's a tendency to break down a defense if you can crisply pass the ball enough time. We call those body blows. Like a boxer. Break them down. Break down the defense. Carlson's out the top of the key. He's got it. Here's Lundgren on the side. Ball fake. Steps in. Fakes again. Shoots. Good! Well, he took it to him, didn't he? The game is tied at 32. And that was a point. tough shot. A very, very tough, tough shot. shot. But there's an appreciative Rock Island crowd behind us who's letting them know exactly what they thought. And they're really into this ball game. 1 12 to play third. Foul. Good Evan foul. Carlson. Carlson tried to steal the ball, committed the foul. Ball rolls to Duncan Reed. Very assertive officiating. Clear signals, definitiveness about what they're doing out there, and it's just a mark of professionals. Three fouls on Evan Carlson. Sidney in the ball in a tie. See if they get it close. Triple. Shook and moved and shoot. Rebounding has turned to Rock Island. Where they turn in terms of the key rebounding, Frank. The key pass rebounds well. belong to Rock Island. Off triple. We're under one minute now in the third with the game tied, and Rock Island has held Chicago Simeon to two points in the entire quarter. It's incredible. Here's the ball. Way outside the Hodgkiss. Are they going to hold here? 
53 seconds. They punch it into Carlson. Back out, Stolen again. But Stolen now up ahead to the running triple. He's got a layup. And he counts and he's fouled. What a turnaround. Great uh, bit of basketball at both ends. Replay coming up. We'll see hands, hands, and more hands. And then finally the long pass down court. The effort to block the shot, of course, uh, goes for naught on this kind of situation. That's a streaky playground move. Lundgren, two fouls. Team fourth, but he was in the act of shooting. It's a three-point play. is good by Tribble. A three-point Simeon lead on Tribble's three-pointer. Coach Bob Hamrick like that. Now Rock Island must answer again. The quick hands of Simeon. Stolen the ball four or five times. And now with 30 seconds in the third They're going to wait for one. Rock Island would love a one-point difference at the end of three. And they'll probably be content with a good outside shot as well because I don't think they'll be able to get much in terms of penetration or the offensive board. Lundgren's there. Bank shot. Got it. One-point game. Lundgren with 10. They want a defense call two, maybe a 2-3 zone. probably a zone defense. Try to pack things in. Triple. They're going to score. They're going to have to do it outside. No. Rebound, and that's it. That's the end of three thrilling quarters of play. Simeon, 34. Rock Island. Or Simeon, 35. And Rock Island, 34. <laughs> We're having fun, and we'll be right back. One of your network sponsors, DeKalb Pfizer Genetic. What we've got here is one heck of a good corn crop. It's always too early to start counting the cash. <laughs> you know that. Because there's a lot of things that have to go right between now and harvest. But it sure helps to know this T1100 is as good a corn as you are a corn grower. You want good yields this fall? You got to start this spring with T1100. <laughs> I am. Browns has great savings for all you basketball fans. Shoot for a great value with the Huffy Pro Shot Basketball Backboard with rim and net, all for only $59.88. The whole family will have years of fun with this NBA-endorsed fiberglass backboard. Choose one of three great styles of McGregor synthetic leather basketballs. Now only $19.88. You save $5. Save $7 on the famous Converse leather basketball shoe, only $35.88. Check out the great March Madness values at Brown Sporting Goods. We're down to one eight-minute period to decide the fourth quarterfinal game. And in the third quarter, Rock Island outscored Simeon 12 to 5 like this. They're now shooting 42%. Simeon's gone down to 46% on 13 of 4, 28. Still 9 of 10 foul shooting. And now in the game for Rock Island, number 40, David Carr. Rebounding you saw was still in the advantage of the Rocks. All right, David Carr, a 6'6 junior, comes in the game to jump center for the first time. And he does. Simeon starts with the ball. Here we go. Ben Wilson missed it. Rebound. Allen. Rebound. Hall to Rodney Hall. Three points, Simeon lead. 11 points for Hall, who's had a good game. Now Collins comes to the right. Been so many heroes in this game on both sides. Hotchkiss is one, for sure. There's your score. Play Hotch hard every minute. 14 in the game for Hotchkiss. Ron at 12 in the super. He gets six rebounds a game, too. Benjamin Wilson in the right corner. Look how patient now Simeon's being. Lob inside to Hull. Ball on Rock Island blocking. Didn't get there. Couldn't get there now. He was moving all the way. We'll see the replay that he was moving on this lob pass all the way. There's the collision. Just the collision between two moving forces, and then when that happens, it's obviously a defensive block. John Deere and your local John Deere dealer are happy to be co-sponsoring the Class AA tourney again this year. We hope you'll join us tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock for the semifinals and the Consolation Championship Games. Tomorrow night, Consolation and Championship Games, 6 o'clock. Our coverage begins tomorrow night, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. That was the fifth foul on Rock Island and for the whole fourth quarter. It's one and bonus for Simeon. First one is in by Rodney Hall. Simeon has been a brilliant free throw shooting team. 10 of 11 in the game. 
and 12 points in the game for Hall. 6-7, 200. And he missed. Binion claims it. A two-point Simeon lead. A hoop here by the Rocks ties the game. Patience is the key again. Duncan Reed had said they wanted good shot selection and they wanted to keep Simeon off their own offensive board. Shot selection has been good for the most part by Rock Island. It's been excellent for the most part. There have only been probably two or three shots that were a little bit out of that realm. Zone is packed in pretty good now by the Blue Machine Wolverine. It's a rainforest. Here comes Hotchkiss all the way. Puts it up. He missed it. And the blue shirts are all there on the rebound. Hotchkiss. When you try slashing your way through something like that, you ordinarily wind up with an off-balance type shot, which is what happens. Control is the thing. Wilson goes to the low box left. Bankston with the ball outside. Guarded by Lundgren. Man-to-man -man now by Rock Island. Rock Island back to man-to-man. -man. Oh, steal. Good and hands. Quick hands. Dribbles free. He's got an eight-footer. Home. Great shot. He's the great shot. Nine for Tribble. A four-point lead for Simeon. And the Rocks come back again. Hotchkiss. Carlson. Slip. And the patience is there. Rhythm jumper Lundgren. Bouncing no. Rebound Simeon again. And there's the answer. It's the rebound. The rebounding, certainly. Wilson and Bankston work a two-man play, and Bankston puts it home. Bankston got one. He had a tough luck on the two earlier shots, but that one was right there. Now with five and a half to go, Rock Island needs a hoop. They're six down. Badly. It's a crucial trip down here. Let's see if they can get it. Look at that defense by Simeon. Devon Binion holds high over to Collins. The skip pass over the zone. Now Hotchkiss holds up. Inside, Carlson turns and has it come out of his hand. With Collins hand. has it rejected by Hull. Hull, once again, great timing on his shot rejection abilities. Watch the timing. He comes from almost four or five feet away to get that block without a foul. Great timing on his part. Carlson's hemmed in. Simeon's so quick, they get to the ball in a hurry. Carlson has it to Lundgren on the left wing. Wanted a shot, couldn't find one. Down to 448. Hotchkiss is going to try it. Missed it. Who's got it? Hotchkiss battle. Got by with one. On the floor. Whistle. Jump ball. Well, that was a good view of that scramble. Right here in front of us. We're located at center court at Assembly Hall. Officials really use good judgment there. I thought for a moment they were going to call it travel, and uh, the jump ball is obviously the fairest call in the situation. So it was their only recourse in a case like that. I'm glad we're not having a replay on that. I wouldn't know what to say except scramble lakes. Bankston at 6'4". Well, Rock can... Island cannot penetrate, can they? No, it's, it's too thick a forest in there. They've got to hit that outside shot. It's that simple. Every tip goes to Simeon. They get this one. Tribble pulls up inside, and the ball goes out of bounds to the Wolverines. The clock is down to 434, but that's still plenty of time if Rock Island can hit their shots. Simeon has answered every challenge. They certainly have. They're battle-tested, obviously. Now Tribble backs away. They'll run some time off the clock here. They've been through it before. They have, and it's perhaps a bit premature to be doing this kind of thing, perhaps. But it's within their scheme of things, and I'm sure they know what they're doing in this regard. They exchange off the low post. And now Duncan Reed's going to get Jeff Tyler into the game, obviously to help chase that ball. If he could get him in. Four minutes. Dribble. And dribble. It, it may take a while to get him in. Isidore Spin Solario may have started all this with his great Marshall team, the late 50s, when the public league really came of age, Ron. Yeah, I suppose he'd be the George Washington of the whole thing, really. Who's uh, yeah. George Wilson? George Wilson, of course, was... He and Coach Brown, of course, with his great DuSable ball. DuSable ball, too. 
Genesis now 3.30 in the game. Simeon 42, Rock Island 36. And Simeon is putting it in the deep freeze. And Simeon is in the bonus situation in terms of the free throw circumstances. One thing that this can do, of course, is that any misplays can result in a quick basket for the Rocks and will take at the same time Simeon out of their offensive rhythm. They've taken a minute and a half off the clock now. And they're still in complete control. Will Rock Island come out and pick out somebody to foul? Well, we're at that critical three-minute juncture now, and something's going to have to give quickly. Simeon has made their free throws remarkably well, but they might have to make some more. 250 left. Now, Simeon would be on the bonus, so uh, Rock Island could force him to the line. Bankston. Just a matter Charging. of charge. charge. Still an eternity to go in the ball game. You can see the charge on this one. It's probably a turn of the elbow and a shoulder and an elbow. That created a turnover, plus probably a little noise on the part of uh, number 25, a little grunt. There's timeout on the court at the 241 mark. We'll have that much to decide who will win this game. When we come back, one of your network sponsors is John Deere. Now, things are different when I was a kid. Take my lawn mowing business. In the old days, I'd go door to door with a push mower. Today, I use a John Deere lawn and garden tractor. Supplied by my uh, financial backer. This beauty will knock off an acre in 40 minutes. And the way she's built, she'll last for years. In fact, I'll probably run out of lawns before I run out of tractor. Hey, big shot. You want to finish ours before you retire? <laughs> Strickland Spring Caravan Sale is rolling into Central Illinois. Our first big sale in 84, and what a sale. We've got over 400 cars in stock, including all the hard-to-get models, Corvettes, and those great Z28s. Even a T-top Camaro loaded at only $99.95. So get moving with our Spring Caravan Sale now and save. That's why good, good people trade at Strickland Chevrolet, because we're good. Two forty-one is left here. Simeon by six. Don't forget tomorrow at six o'clock we'll have before the tip-off, and I'll be visiting with Jerry Schnee of the Chicago Tribune, Joe Muschel of the Associated Press, a couple of people that know a lot about high school basketball in Illinois. That'd be interesting. They'll out talk you. Both of those fellows will, Frank. I guarantee you. No yeah, contest. No contest. No, you have. No. All right, Rock Island has to get into this contest now, and they have to get some hoops. They got the basketball, but they've got a six-point mountain to climb against a magnificently talented Simeon team. Lundgren, they have to get a shot. Binion comes across. Lundgren's going to take it from there. It's up and in. That's the shot they have to have because they're not going to get the inside shot. Not surprised they're not pressing. Now it's a matter of selective fouling. They're into a press. It's a half-court 1-3-1 one, one trap. Ball was kicked out of bounds. Lundgren has 12 points in the game. And he's a good outside shooter. He certainly is. 2.14 left. There it is. They're going to trap. They're going to try to create a turnover situation. Try to hurry up the tempo. Tribble and a foul on Tyler. And Tribble will have one in bonus. Bobby Tribble will go to the line. We do not have total complete stats on the season for Chicago Simeon. They simply were not available to anyone. We do have Tribble looked at as an 82% foul shooter, which is extremely good. One in bonus. They're big. They are. Simeon might have won this game from the foul line if they win it. Looking back, Rock Island has shot only two free throws. Shot. Uh, Rock Island in the ball game, right. They missed two. them both. Yeah. 0 for 2 for Rock Island. There's a miss. A five-point Simeon lead, and we come to the two-minute mark now. Simeon in the backcourt. Simeon has only five field goals in the entire second half. Lundgren again. Good again. <laughs> Lundgren holds Rock Island there. Three points away with 147. They're into the half-court trap. They're going to scramble. They're going to create as much havoc as they can, get as many hands into the play as they can. Great picture There's on your foul. And a whistle. It'll be Bankston this time that will get the try. Foul is on Lundgren. Eric picks up his third. 
and Kyle Collins will come back for the Rocks. Evan Carlson comes out. Frank, more... uh, you were commenting about free throw shooting. That is such a key factor. Rock Island has nine buckets to just five for Simeon in the second half of the ball game. And uh, Simeon is uh, two, three out of five at the line. The game is that close. Bankston. Missed. Rock Island throw. has a chance. Big chance. Devin Finian comes down. He wheels through two men on the left. Lundgren. Tip. Rodney Hall with a big rebound for Simeon. Pressure's it's a steal. Backcourt Collins. Wide he's going to go all the way. And he's held and fouled two shots. A big steal by the Rocks. Very big steal. And it was a kind of foul that had to be made, I suppose, in that situation. He's a fourth we'll foul the on Bankston. Fourth foul on Bankston. And he's broke wide ahead, except that he just didn't accelerate quite fast enough, and we had the kind of foul that was probably a good foul there. It was a clean foul. Collins shoots 63% at the free throw line, six in the game. Now we have a whistle. Simeon wants timeout. The score, 43-40. to 40. Simeon, and we'll be back. One of your network sponsors, Country Companies Insurance. <laughs> Last week, Susan's new Buick was totaled. Market value was much less than the price of a brand new one. But luckily, she had the keeper auto policy from country companies. So how are you getting around these days, Susan? In my brand new $11,000 century, country companies replaced my totaled car totally. You got the country behind you. With the all-new keeper policy. You got the country company. If you love the taste of bacon for breakfast, you'll love McDonald's new bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. Now we start fresh every morning to make home-style buttermilk biscuits. A taste of home with a new taste of bacon. Crisp, hickory-smoked bacon, melted cheese topped with a fresh grade A egg. It's our new bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Tastes just like home. McDonald's and you. On the network the drama continues wherever you're watching around the great state we hope you're enjoying high school basketball in illinois it's the best there is right now kyle collins is at the free throw line for rock island 114 on the clock and it's a three-point simian lead with one more. This is important, could bring it to two. Yes. Oh, he corrected that trajectory in a hurry, didn't he? Oh! Near steal by Hotchkiss. Backcourt triple. Hands all over the place. Half-court trap. A ferocious defense. One, oh, two. Foul by Jeff Tyler, and he fouled Bankston. The one and bonus for Bankston. Bankston is one for three at the foul line in the game. They picked him out. Yeah, the left-handers aren't shooting very good free throws. Bonus, man, bonus. 101 left. And hanging on, Simeon to a two-point lead. A white knuckler again, and it's a three-point lead at the 101 mark. A dozen for Bankston as he answered in the clutch. He did it again. Got the bounce. Four point lead, Simeon. Rock Island must hurry. Under a minute. Binion. Double team. Hotchkiss turn. And is blocked by Ben Wilson. Who's got it? Lundgren. Lundgren missed it. Kyle Collins rejected and fouled. is on Simeon, it's on Kenneth Allen, 24, and there is never a doubt about these whistles. Yeah, there's a lot of action on this. There's a great block again. I think it's Hull doing his job again, probably for the 10th time. Shot is 
And that's being taken on a replay. You won't see the rest of that. Collin is one for two at the free throw line. To say the least, these are giant ones. Missed them. Well, these Four two seconds. officials taking charge in a tough ball game. They Kirby really Hammond, and Ed Schmidt, tremendous job. Timeout after the free throw goes in, called by Rock Island. 44 seconds left. Stay with us. We'll be right back. One of your network sponsors, DeKalb Pfizer Genetics. Ted's a DeKalb Pfizer Genetics dealer, and a good one, too. No, he's no super salesman. What makes him a good dealer are the same things that make him a good farmer. He knows how to get the most out of this land and how to care for it. Knows and understands the people who live and farm around us. But you want to know the real secret to his success? I am. We think United Federal has the best savings plan in town. Now your savings can earn even more with United Federal's new higher interest savings plan. You can even choose the deposit amount and maturity date that suits you best. The more you save and the longer you invest, the higher your interest. Up to 11.3% on a 60-month certificate. We think we have the best savings plan in town. United Federal. Lock in today's high rates by opening your account now. Each team with one timeout remaining. 44 seconds. Simeon with the ball. A three-point lead, and the Rocks extend the pressure. And a long on the full pass court. down court. In it comes. A couple of Rocks try to pick up a charge. Nothing. Back court. Triple. 38 seconds. Turned lost it. it. Oh. Picked oh. up by Bankston. He cuts to the basket and comes out. Half a minute left. Now, foul. Rock Island. Tyler. They rock set that up, hoping to pick up a charge on that out-of-bounds play. Didn't get it done. There's Duncan Reed. Uh, he is working hard, as is Bob Hambrick, certainly, over in the uh, Wolverine bench. Triple is two out of three in the game at the strike. Bingo. A four-point lead with 29 seconds. Simeon ever closer to the final four. They're really shooting those clutch free throws. They've been awesome at the foul line. Missed that one. A last gasp coming for Rock Island. They must score in a hurry. And they've got one timeout left. Kyle Collins steps in, goes all the way Time for two. Out. Timeout. Now a 17. They haven't called a timeout. They're going to foul immediately. They foul Bankston to the backcourt with 13 seconds, one and one. And that was the game plan. Three, two, foul is on. Devon, Devon Binion. Quick move up the court. Challenged the defense, took it inside. If Rock Island has a timeout, and I'm not too sure if they do or they don't, I'm surprised they didn't take it right now, but apparently we're content stopping the clock with the foul. Bankston is three out of five in the game from the foul line. 13 seconds, two points, Simeon Lee. That may, be the, that may be the question, we'll see. Yeah. Big, big clutch free throw by Tim Bankston. Timothy Bankston in the clutch, delivered. Time is the enemy of the Rocks. Bankston missed. Collins rebounds the Rocks, try to run. There's only 10 well, they're seconds. They're going to have to penetrate. Here comes they're Lundgren. He has it blocked. It's foul. Collins. Simeon advances. And Collins will have fouled out. I'll check it. That's, I yeah, think he Tyler, said Tyler. Tyler picked it up. It, that's Tyler, the foul. And that's five on Tyler. A magnificent season continues for Simeon. And a great one for Rock Island. We'll end at 27 and 4. Five seconds to play, and Bankston once again will go to that line. He's got eight points. He's made four free throws out of seven, and two of them in the clutch of this game. So 
The Chicago Public League champions have been too much at the foul line. Bankston in particular. What a good basketball game again. Again. Exactly. Free throw is missed. The final score will now be indicated here. The clock melts down. Simeon's the winner. It's 48 for Chicago Simeon. 44 for Rock Island. And we have our finalists. The score was about the same as it was in the uh, city championship game against Robeson. Wasn't it something about this? 44-42 uh, to 42 against yeah, Robeson. Right. And so we move it along. And there you see the final score as Simeon wins it 48-44. Let's review today. Aurora West, or tonight, Aurora West, the winner, 73-44 over Champaign Centennial. Chicago Simeon, the winner. Today, live from the Assembly Hall in Champaign as we crown the boys class double a king good morning everybody i'm frank Bassoni, and we welcome you to this tournament and what a